Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advance Paper 1 Physics in the year 2021. The question is based on the topic of capacitors, RC circuits, but like again a fairly simple question. Most of the students would have done this without much hassles. The question is again based on paragraph type question which IIT had called STEM this time. Uh, there were two questions based on this paragraph. Both, uh, both uh, questions were of two marks. So total uh, marks awarded for this paragraph was four. So let's see what's happening over here. Initially the switch is in position P. That means switch is uh, like you know joined like this. And we have to find the charge on the capacitor in steady state. After a while the switch is now brought to position Q. And again we have to find the charge on the capacitor in the steady state. So Q1 is the charge on the capacitor when the switch is in uh, position P in steady state. And Q2 is the charge on the capacitor when the switch is in position Q in the steady state. So we have to find the value of Q1 and Q2. So very easy question. Let's draw the circuit when the switch is in position P. So in that case, this wire is useless. So we can say that this will be, this is how the circuit is going to look like. This is 2 volts, this is 1 volt, this is 1 ohm, this is 2 ohm, this is 1 microfarad. So you can see in the steady state there will be no flow of current through this wire because capacitor would have been fully charged. So there will not be any charge flow. So the current will be zero. So in that case we can say that current will be flowing only in this uh, circuit, in this loop. So net EMF is plus 2 and minus 1. So we can say that uh, current here will be plus 2 and minus 1 that means net will be 1 volts divided by 2 plus 1 3 ohms that means 1 by 3 amperes 1 by 3 ampere okay now we can find the potential difference and the current by the way will be in this direction now we can find the potential difference across this one microfarad so if you try to start from here then then two car eyes okay and uh, 1 by 3 into 2 that means 2 by 3 car drop that means we can say that if this is point a and this is point b so this is va minus vb is 4 by 3 okay so va minus vb becomes 4 by 3 so we can say that the charge on the capacitor q1 will be uh, 4 by 3 into 1 okay so this becomes 1.33 uh, microfarad 1.3 microfarad micro coulombs not farad my, my bad micro coulombs okay similarly if you talk about when the switch is in this position uh, like when the switch has come switch has come in this position q then let's draw the circuit here the capacitor will be like this So you can see that this is 2 volts, 2 ohms, 1 ohms and 1 microfarad. So 1, 2, 2 and 1 microfarad. Okay. This battery will go out of the circuit. Okay. Now in the case of steady state again there will be no flow of charges through this wire. The capacitor will be fully charged. So we can say that there is no flow of charges whatsoever. So current will be flowing in this direction. In this loop only. And if you call this current I. So that I can be straight away written as 2 upon 3 amperes. Okay. Now it is very easy to see that the potential difference across again the same point AB will be 2 by 3 into 1. That means it will be 2 by 3 volts. Okay. Hence we can say that Q on this will be 2 by 3 into 1 microfarad which is nothing but 0.666 which can be truncated to 0.67 in this case we were required to write the answer in two places of decimal so the answer will become 0.67 right rounded we were required to write right round off till two places of decimal so this you can see is a very very easy question a regular question and most of the students would have done this without much problems that's it thank you